There are multiple ways to progressively overload your training. This can include adjustments in training parameters such as weight, volume, sets, tempo, range of motion, speed, and the list goes on. But for this video, we'll focus on the two variables scientifically proven to be most effective for muscle growth. This 2022 study compared the effects of two types of progressive overload training. One group aimed to increase weight with no changes in reps, and the other group aimed to increase reps with no changes in load. Interestingly, the rates of muscle growth were similar in both groups. These findings are corroborated by this recent study, where they also explored whether it's better to increase reps or weight for progressive overload. The participants did unilateral leg extensions, with each leg using a different method of overload. After the 10-week training period, the researchers found no significant difference in the gains made in muscle cross-sectional area among the two groups. Thus, according to the evidence, progressing in reps and load is equally effective for hypertrophy. The principle of progressive overload is about forcing your muscles to adapt to a given stimulus. These adaptations come in the form of new muscle growth or increased strength. Once the muscles have adapted, new stimulus is required to spur new growth, and the new stimulus would come in the form of increasing the weight you lift for a given number of reps or increasing the reps you do for a given weight. And the reason these methods work best is because they ensure you're putting the highest number of muscle fibers under mechanical tension. You see, once you've adapted to a certain stimulus, your muscles are now able to produce the same force while recruiting fewer muscle fibers. This means that doing the exact same workout as before will not involve the same number of maximal growth stimulating reps. Thus, you have to introduce a new stimulus by either increasing the load without sacrificing reps or increasing the reps without sacrificing load. So, now that we understand what the goal of your training is, let's discuss the best way to apply these overload methods to your training. First, it's important to note that these two ways are not mutually mutually exclusive. In fact, progressive overload is better done as a combination of both so you can steadily make gains. For increasing reps, let's say you're training for 4 sets of 8 to 10 reps. If you're currently at a weight where you can only do 8 reps for every set to failure, that's a total of 32 reps within those 4 sets. Rather than increasing the load, your goal should be to achieve more total reps. For increasing weight, let's take the same 4 sets of 8 to 10 reps. Once you're able to complete all of your sets for 10 reps, then and only then you'll increase the load. Shoot for incremental increases, ideally around 5 to 10% of the previous weight. This will allow you to stay in your desired rep range while progressively overloading. The principle of progressive overload is fundamental for achieving substantial muscle growth over the long term as it directly impacts the magnitude of the stimulus during each set, thus driving hypertrophy. Moreover, it serves as a crucial external indicator of the small and usually unnoticeable progress you're making. As long as you're doing slightly more reps without sacrificing the load, or increasing the load without sacrificing the number of reps, your muscles will have no choice but to continue to adapt by growing bigger and stronger. So, next time you train, make sure you take note of the important variables we've discussed and make every set count. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Also, if you're an intermediate or advanced lifter whose muscle gains have stalled and are looking to jumpstart new muscle growth, grab a copy of Mass 5 Full Body. This is a high frequency full body workout for intermediate and advanced lifters who are looking to take their physique to the next level. And right now, you can get an additional 25% off by using the coupon code MASS25. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.